it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at factorising quadratic trinomials, which is a vital skill as quadratics appear in every corner of the course. So we're going to use a method called the guide number method, and it's quick and it's efficient and it will factorise any quadratic that's factorizable. So let's take a look at how it works with our first question, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, my guide number is simply the number in front of x squared, which is 1, multiplied by the constant at the end, which is 6. So 1 by 6 is 6, and that's my guide number. And what we want to do here is we want to multiply to get the guide number. And we have to think, we're going to be multiplying two numbers here in order to get 6. And 6 is positive, so how do I multiply to get a positive number? Well, both signs can be positive, as a positive by a positive is a positive, or both signs will be negative. So I need to think about that, that they're either both going to be positive numbers or they're both going to be negative numbers. Also, we're going to be looking for two numbers that multiply to 6, but also that add up to 5. It's always going to be the number in front of the x term that you want to add to make. So... What we're going to do is we're going to list out the pairs of factors of our guide number 6. So we're going to go 6 and 1, 3 and 2. Those are all the pairs of factors that multiply to 6. And I go through the list to say which pair multiplies to 6 and adds to 5. Well, 3 and 2 work, as 3 plus 2 gives us 5 and 3 by 2 gives us 6. So watch what I do here. I take the quadratic, I keep the x squared, and instead of 5x, I replace it with 3x plus 2x as 3 and 2 I got over here from my guide number and I have plus 6 at the end. Next what I do is I have a grouping here so I group the first two terms and group the last two. We'll factor x out of the first bracket we get x or an x plus 3 plus 2 bracket x plus 3. Finally I get x plus 2 times x plus 3. Job done we're factorized here. Let's give another one a go. So let's take a look here at x squared minus 7x plus 10. Well, we'll calculate our guide number. It's the number in front of x squared by the last number. So 1 times 10 gives me 10. And it's a positive 10, so they're both going to be positive or they're both going to be negative. And I'm going to list the factors of 10. We have 10 and 1, or we have 5 and 2. And I have to think, which of these pairs does 10 plus 1 or minus 10 plus minus 1 give me the minus 7 in the middle? Or does 5 plus 2 or minus 5 and minus 2 give us that? Well, it would be minus 5 and minus 2 as they'll add up to minus 7. So I replace those in with getting x squared minus 5x minus 2x plus 10. And again, they're both minuses here as minus 5 times minus 2 gives me that positive 10. I go with my grouping. And I get my final answer of x minus 2 by x minus 5. Let's take a look at a couple more. So here for 2x squared plus x minus 15, let's get our guide number. So it's going to be 2 times minus 15, which is minus 30. And in order to multiply to get minus 30, one number has to be positive and one has to be negative because positive by a negative will give us a negative. So let's list the factors of 30 anyway. We'd have 30 and 1. We'd have 15 and 2, we'd have 10 and 3, then we'd have 6 and 5. And I need to add to make the number in front of x, which is a positive 1. So which pairs from our factors with a positive and a negative sign will give us 1? 30 and 1 won't, 15 and 2 won't, 10 and 3 won't, but 6 and 5 will if I have a positive 6 and a negative 5, as positive 6 minus 5 gives us 1. And we replace that in as follows. We get our 2x squared. We have plus 6x minus 5x minus 15. And grouping. Job done. And we'll go again for the last question, 2x squared minus 9x minus 18. Let's get our guide number. So first by last, 2 by minus 18 gives me minus 36. And I'm thinking it's a negative number I'm multiplying to make, so I need 1 to 
be a positive and one to be a negative, as that's the only way we'll multiply to get a negative number. I'll list my factors. And I have a think through the factors and see which pair with a positive and a negative sign will add and subtract to give me minus 9 in the middle. And if we go for minus 12 and a positive 3, that'll do the job. So I'll replace that in. And there we have it, folks. So a four-line method for any sort of factorizing you want to do with your quadratic trinomials. We get our guide number, we look to the pairs, and we say which pairs add and subtract to give us the number we're looking for in the middle. And just be wary on your signs here, okay? So that's the only place we can mess this up. But if we're very careful with our signs, and we think, okay, are they both positive, both negative, or are the signs different, we'll nail it every time.